Oh, man. What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today is the day. That's right. We have finally gotten a long awaited update on Overwatch 2's PVE mode. Who's excited? Now, this was the most highly anticipated Who's hyped? feature of Overwatch Who's ready? 2 that unfortunately had to be delayed. Yeah, what yeah. What we saw back in 2019 but it's coming. blew our balls off. Not only would Overwatch be finally crazy. be getting some story-driven content, but also a separate progression system what? and a talent tree for every single what hero. The fuck? There was so much creativity behind oh some my of God. these new abilities, like May turning into a snowball or Soldier 76 being able to, to move, move with, with his heal? healing field. Wow. And on top of this, Blizzard was boasting that they were making hundreds of missions, endless replayability provided uh -huh. at the top tier level of quality that Blizzard used to yep. be known for. Uh, yeah. This was their comeback story. The release of Overwatch 2 was very underwhelming. I called it the laziest sequel ever. But now that Blizzard is done- And then you know what? I defended it. Again, I wanna, I, I, I can't stop fucking, I can't stop talking about the fact that, like, I was so, like on board with like Blizzard wants to delay it. It's okay. It's okay. Just it's gonna be coming, guys. Just be relax. Just stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine, guys. Everything's gonna be okay. No, no, no. They're not. They're not. No, they're not gonna just you know cancel the game. That's not gonna happen. Wiping their ass with the millions of Benjamin Franklin bills they earned from Diablo Immortal microtransactions. Oh, wow. oh, I it's remember finally that. here. An update on Overwatch 2's PvE mode. Overwatch 2's PvE hero mode is being scrapped. Ooh. Our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. What happened? Where's the fucking game? Well... <laughs> what happened? Where's the fucking game? That's a really good question, isn't it? There's no game here. Yeah. What happened? Did the programmers pass out? This pretty much confirms to me that the only reason Overwatch 2 was released at all was to change the business model, get rid of loot boxes, add in a shitty battle pass, and sell cosmetics for $20. Yeah. Beyond that, I can only imagine. Overwatch 2 launched with three new heroes, but they had to take two pre-existing heroes out because of new bugs that were introduced. Yeah, they, uh, whenever the game came out, I heard that Overwatch 2 uh, locked Bastion and they wouldn't let me play them because they didn't want me to make everybody else quit the game because I was so good with them. At launch, players noticed that several classic maps had been removed for no, seemingly no that's reason, true, yeah. only to be added back later. Yeah. Why was Overwatch 2 not launching with a PvE mode? Why was it taking out pre-existing content? That and remember, remember whenever I was like, guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. See, the, it, it's, it doesn't matter. Like, it's going to come out soon. It's just like it's early access. Bro, it's going to be so good, man. It's going to be so fun. Had no issues. The only thing that made Overwatch 2 worthy of being called Overwatch yeah, 2 yeah. was the upcoming PvE mode. Which exactly. Was like, that's why, like, if they had re-released Overwatch 2 and it was just like, we're re-releasing the same game and it's, well, okay, so it's basically like this. Okay, so it is the same game, but, okay, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and step back for a minute. Like, if they had done that, I probably wouldn't have even played it at all. Played and is now completely canceled. So what the hell was the point? <laughs> what was the point in any of this? We are shifting our plan for Overwatch 2 to enable you to play it sooner. This starts yeah. with us decoupling the PvP features of the game from the PvE systems so we can bring you PvP sooner. God, bro, I, I probably should go and look at what my reaction to that announcement was. Because I was probably like, oh, dude, thank God. Now we can play the game earlier. That's going to be great. What the fuck are you talking about? Why? Why do you want to get the game into my hands sooner? Can you maybe put a better game in my hands at a later date when it's ready? This is what I don't get. Why was there a rush to release the PvP content? You only added three new heroes and all the other changes were so minimal. Hell, back in 2022, Aaron Keller said, a few years ago, we made the call to focus our team's development efforts almost entirely on Overwatch 2, and as development of the sequel stretched on, it meant that the live game received less focus. Yeah. He explained this meant that the company was no longer delivering on one of its core values to support the game by updating it and delivering content on a regular basis. So they abandoned Overwatch 1 to work on the sequel, something that they regret doing. Yeah, they abandoned the game to work on the game that they abandoned. It doesn't sound too good when you say it that way, huh?
I mean, obviously game development is hard and all that. And sometimes yeah. there's been a change of plans, but come on, man. What have you guys been working on this entire time? How could you advertise Overwatch 2 and make this mode one of the biggest focal points and, and then just abandon it? It seems real well, scummy. Well, it wasn't the big, one of the biggest focal points. It was the biggest focal point and the main selling point of the game. It's like, for example, if World of Warcraft came out and in Mists of Pandaria, they announce like maybe a week before the expansion comes out, guys. Look, oh God, look, look. All right, making a game is hard. And so whenever the expansion comes out, you're, you're not gonna go to Pandaria, okay? Like, you'll still be able to level up to, it's 90, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But, like, you're not gonna, like, there's not gonna be a new zone. Like, there's not gonna be a Pandaria. Like, there's just gonna be, like, the expansion. But there's no Pandaria. <laughs> But the worst part of it is, this shit looked really fun. Everyone had their shit to talk about yeah. the Overwatch 2 not being a sequel. But everybody was hyped for the PvE. Yeah. Now, to be fair, they also announced a new roadmap, which is kind of meant to soften the blow. Right. So it looks like there's going to be a ton of Bro, new content. Like, well, this looks like a fucking phone game. Like, I I'm going to be real. This shit looks like a straight up phone game. Overwatch, limited time event, story missions. Like, bro... Well, I just, I think that they just completely, completely overshot this. I would come back and play Overwatch for a big PvE update. I would. But, like, I'm not going to come back and buy a Battle Pass to play a PvE mode that takes 15 minutes or an hour. I'm just not going to do it. So at the very least, PvE is dying so that PvP can continue to thrive. So let's talk about Overwatch 2 and the continued decline of Blizzard because uh, some of the reasons why they canceled this mode are quite interesting. Obviously, this is a huge blow and they say they're still working on hero and story missions, which is, you know, it's going to be something. I don't expect it to be all that great, to be honest. You know, they're working on story content stuff that people have been asking for since the game came out in like 2016. Yep. There's a guy named Sir Swag who is a pretty credible source and he talked to an anonymous Blizzard employee about why the mode was canceled. In what might be the most unsurprising- I don't really put a lot of weight on this kind of stuff. I remember I made a video about like the real reason why Overwatch was canceled and then somebody that used to work at Blizzard that I trust is like, yeah, it's bullshit. No, it's not what happened. So yeah, I mean, uh... In the entire world, it's hard the to very say. first thing he said was that the cancellation was, quote, a 1000% upper management executive issue. Maybe. In the words of this employee, the decision to scrap the PVE was very much a decision motivated by Blizzard's profit margins. You don't say. That's about this. Okay. You don't say. You don't say! And that the success of Diablo on mobile, reportedly making over $2 million a day, shifted the expectations of the higher-ups at the company. To the so what we're saying here is that Overwatch Mobile is coming out very soon. It's a hero, auto battle, or a gotcha system. Suits, Overwatch 2's PvE mode wasn't going it's to keep Overwatch generating Star money in Rail. the long term, and had become increasingly more irrelevant next to a live service business model. Mm-hmm. Did I call this or what? Live service has become the biggest killer of creativity in the industry by far. Game development seems to have shifted towards being results driven as opposed to fun driven. I called this out in, in my video on live service games and why it, it's a graveyard for creativity, why live service business models throttle creativity because every decision is now made with make more money, make them. I actually like, I love live service games and I am a big live service games fan, but I think that in terms of create of killing creativity, I think that he's right. And I think the same thing has happened with like movies and series. Like how many movies, like ser series of movies or series, it's like they're obvious, they're just making another one for no reason. Like nobody asked for Zoolander 2. We didn't need that. Fast and the Furious 10. 
I did Post know you money. Um, we get to really take the gloves off and do crazy things like Junkrat can do wield grenade launchers and we've had Mercy be able to area effect res their whole team at once at super long range through walls. It's been a ton of fun, kind of like mad scientists making all this stuff. Yeah, well, not anymore, you're not. If this is to be believed, yes, the reason the mode was canceled, money because they saw how much money Diablo Immortal was making, and they were continuing to pour resources and development time into this mode. That probably would have kicked some serious ass, but... But, but money! But you need more money! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> God. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, Ludacris said they're going to keep making Fast and Furious because they make hundreds of millions of dollars, so why wouldn't they? <laughs> yep. That's about right. Where's the money? <laughs> yeah, you like that? That feels good? Even if Overwatch 2 didn't make $2 million a day, don't you think this big-ass PvE mode would draw in a bunch of players new and old and if they yeah i think that that's one thing that blizzard doesn't really do as much that they used to a lot is that like blizzard used to have really really good games and because they had really really good games people would forgive a a fuck up they wouldn't really care like heroes of the storm came out oh it wasn't good okay who cares uh, and like they they even canceled like they canceled starcraft ghost nobody cared about that who gives a fuck because there were other good games but it's like you can't, like, it's like Square Enix does it the right way, okay? They've got these garbage fucking cash grab NFT trash games that have gambling mechanics and they fucking suck. But God damn it, Final Fantasy 16 is looking really, really good. So Square Enix is great. See? Cuz they know that you just you just have to win every once in a while and that's all it needs to be. I believe Diablo 4 will bring in the money. Diablo 4 could be their Final Fantasy 16 or Final Fantasy 14. I don't know. I will say and I I've I've got to be honest guys. Blizzard has been very receptive to feedback with Diablo 4. Really enjoyed it and they would spend more money on the game. Don't be fooled. No. We'll see. That's not how modern gaming oh, works. Whoa. But what do I know? All right, so I'm going to put my headphones on, uh -huh. and uh, we're going to watch this this video. Uh, tweeting about a roadmap, <sighs> oh, saying it's no. coming mid-May. Uh, it's been, oh, been on my no. timeline a lot. Uh, I do have an update. We're going to run through the roadmap today. Uh, we're going to talk about what's coming in future seasons. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk a bit about uh, PvE. This is the reason why they have the roadmap it also coupled with this announcement that they're cutting PvE is specifically to soften the blow. In case you were wondering, it's a, uh, it's a little PR tactic. Whoa. So yeah, it's like they don't want to just... <laughs> they don't want to just like come on and be like, yeah, guys, nothing's going to happen. They want to say, guys, something different is going to happen. Of course. We had a difficult choice to make. We could continue working on our original vision for Overwatch 2 yeah. without a definitive end date I've in sight so five times. or change our strategy and get something in front of players sooner. We could continue making the game that we fucking marketed or we could say screw it and just put out the laziest possible product. Yeah. A pretty easy choice for old Blizzard. We chose the latter and we released oh. Overwatch 2 last October oh, yeah. with new heroes, new yeah. maps, new modes, and yeah. regular seasonal updates. And also new glitches, a, a great new feature that removed Bastion and May from the game for what, like a fucking month or three weeks? It was but like three weeks at the beginning of the game. Like it was pretty bad, but I didn't like May, so I didn't complain about it that much. Yeah, I always thought that May sucked. Remember how she could freeze you in the first game? I hated that fucking shit. So annoying. More than that, we shifted our values for how we want to develop the game. You sure did shift your values by starting to charge people, what, 20 bucks for skins? Charging them like four times what the skin was previously worth in the original game? What was that stat about like it would take you seven? Like, I don't even, like, I'm going to be real. 
I don't give a fuck about the skin prices. Like, I just care about the content. And I'm sad that we're not going to get the content. Like, I, what do you think? I can't give a fuck. Like, you make a skin $100. Like, who gives a fuck to me? Like, I, it's like none of this shit matters. It's just fucking pay to win, look cool. Oh, wow, I'm a special boy because I gave the company $30. Who actually cares about this? But, like, we're not getting the game. Million or take? No, it's not a million or take. I you think I have a bunch of these skins and, and it like oh look at my Overwatch. Like I I I four I played Fortnite since 2018. I've spent zero dollars on it. I've got none. I've got no skins in any of these fucking games. You know why? Because I don't care. Hundred and twelve years to to get the amount of credits necessary to unlock all the cosmetics in the game without paying for them it was some ridiculous uh -huh. stat like that yes your values did shifted you became more greedy and you became a shittier company yeah and i really can't say enough about how much we've learned over the past eight months or so and more importantly we, we've taken that we learning and we've put it back Diablo into the game before. so as, as early as season Diablo two more. i think you start seeing some some updates we've made based on your feedback and based on what we've learned um we've been changing all of our systems we've been adjusting hero balance way more frequently and these are good changes i'm not gonna lie these they have been making good changes to the pvp i think it's been getting a lot better and the game is still very much fun I still enjoy it. I'd enjoy it more if there was a, you know, big PvE mode, but that's just me. But at the same time, development on the PvE experience. I feel like Overwatch is a game that you play for like eight hours every single day for five days, and then you don't play it for three years. Like, that's kind of, that's like my vibe of the game. Because like you, you play it a lot, and then like, it's, it's, it doesn't really feel dynamic. In the same way that, like, Warzone or, or, like, Fortnite feels dynamic to me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, fastest burnout game? Yeah, because it's just like you're just doing the same thing over and over. It really hasn't made the progress that we would have hoped. The team has Standard, created a bunch yeah. of amazing content. So, you know, there, there's awesome missions that are really exciting. There's brand new enemies that um, are super fun to fight. Uh, and some truly great uh, and ridiculous hero talents. But unfortunately, the effort required to pull all of that together into a Blizzard quality experience that we can ship to you is huge. Yeah. And there really is no end in sight. This is probably the most confusing thing to me out of all of this. There is no end date. Uh, the, the amount of effort it would take to, to create yeah. this mode that we advertised is massive. You're fucking. You, can't, you don't even know what it is. Blizzard. You have uh, like uh, eight thousand people working for your company. What do you mean? Yeah. You're the company that made World of Fucking Warcraft and the Diablo series, both games world renowned for their progression systems and their talent trees. And World of Warcraft just hired a hundred people onto their team. Remember that whenever they acquired, I think it was like Spellbreak Studios or some shit like that. They uh, they acquired a hundred fucking people, and it shows. Like Warcraft gets content constantly, and their deep customization. If anybody was can do this, yeah. it's you. They made spell. <laughs> what? Okay. What did you just lose all your talent? Did you just stop wow. caring? We wow. don't have an end date in sight. Well, create one. Reel back those ambitions. You don't need hundreds of missions when the PVE mode comes out. You don't need expansive talent trees for every champion at launch. Yeah, true. Okay? Just give us something. Would it have been too hard to, to give us like 20 missions and like half the roster has has their talent trees all set up? Yes. Eh. That would be too much. But unfortunately, the effort... Yeah, they could have given us half of them and then waited till the other half and called that Overwatch 3. Yeah, they really missed a uh, missed an opportunity here required to pull all of that together into a blizzard quality experience that we can ship to you is huge i also love the statement blizzard quality because diablo immortal exists that's a blizzard quality game isn't it yes slot machine simulator that's a blizzard quality game overwatch 2 at launch was a blizzard quality game god damn it do we continue to i think that diablo immortal didn't play that badly but it just wasn't very good like, as a PC gamer, I just can't see a, a, a world where I would play this game regularly. The game is broken for me? Yeah, well, it's not even about it being pay to win. Like, I stopped playing Diablo Immortal because it was bad. The, I, I remember I did a boss fight, and I got hit by something that I wasn't in, and I just quit the game. Like, I just, okay, this is stupid. Like, I don't want to play this. This, this is dumb. <laughs> But other than that, like the campaign and everything for Diablo Immortal was was quite well designed. 
I mean, I guess for a phone game, it's good. I don't know. I don't play a lot of phone. I don't have any phone. The only phone game I have is Twitter, okay? Pour all that effort into to PvE, um, uh, hoping that we can land it at some point in the future. Um, or yes. do we stick with... Yes, yes, yes. ...with this set of values that we've aligned on and, and focus on the live game and focus on serving all of you. Also, focus on the live game. This is the crux here, okay? And it kind of falls in line with what Sir Swag said. A PvE mode, is it's not part of the live service necessarily. At least yeah. that's what I'm gathering. What right. that means is that we won't be delivering that dedicated hero mode with talent trees, um, that long-term power progression, uh, those things just aren't in our plans anymore. Mm -hmm. Fuck that! Would, oh man, it would have been so awesome, dude. Because there are so few good co-op shooter games. Like I always go back to Left 4 Dead 2. Back for Blood kind of sucked ass. Redfall has sucked ass. Maybe Borderlands, I could play that. But as far as like games you play with your buddies and you all like rank up and level up and continue to attack. Yeah, people love this game, man. A lot of people want me to start playing this game harder challenges like that's why i love vermintide too i still need to play dark tide but i'm just oh god damn this would have been so awesome for overwatch and i would have played the shit out of this with my buddies man and instead if i want to play overwatch 2 with my buddies i have to convince them to play the same mode in the same game that came out in like 2016 you know what i mean and we i just don't really see like i don't feel like a desire like a, a there's never a point where it's like I need to play Overwatch right now. Like, I'm missing out. I need to start playing Overwatch. I know that this is going to be disappointing to many of you. You don't say! Which is why we wanted to bring it up before we talked about the roadmap. And this is why we brought it up before the roadmap. So so we can just get it out we, of the way. We have something to soften the blow. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Which is like, that's fine. Like, I, I, I think that that's... You know, really, I mean, like, I could be, I, I think that it's just, in my perspective, the Overwatch thing, it's just sad. You know, like, it, it, it's just, I don't know, it just, it just sucks. It's sad, right? I mean, I thought it was going to be fun, and, you know, like, I, I don't have, like, a, a, like, I think Blizzard did the best that they really could have done announcing that it wasn't going to happen, but that doesn't make me feel any better about it not happening been really difficult for for many of us and, and a lot of folks on the team who poured their heart and soul into that into that stuff i also feel bad for the teams that essentially are having their work erased because of corporate greed and this continuous desire to always monetize the shit out of everything and focus on only that and, and not so much the quality uh, of, a, of a video game or how expansive and innovative it can be and yeah. like i said man live service games is where creativity goes to die we're planning to make co-op gameplay and co-op experiences just part of our live roadmap so we we want you to be able to experience it more often just part of it well this is what overwatch has been doing the whole time these little limited time events that people would only play for like an hour or two at most yeah. on some random weekend it's you know yeah i just I, I just there's never been an overwatch event that's come out that's made me think man i'm missing out by not playing this it was fun but this we wanted a much more dedicated mode this comes across as yeah we're just gonna keep doing those same limited time events hardly exciting for me let's yeah. bring up that roadmap uh that jared was talking about because jared there is a ton uh coming to overwatch too soon and again like i said the roadmap looks pretty expansive and i imagine most if not all of this content is going to be great except maybe the roadhog rework i'm not sure how that's going to work out but maybe roadhog will just work you know, it's the PVE mode would have done so, so much good chains. for this game and for its community. And it is such a shame. You also oh. notice how they don't apologize to the fans. It's like, oh yeah, we're, we're cutting this feature. Uh, yeah, it's, we're it canceling the main thing about the game. But, you know, listen, here's the other thing is we have a new battle pass coming out. It's like, I get it. I get it. I get it. But man, it sucks. It kind of sucks. We couldn't fit our vision. Anyways, look at all this other new content that we're working on. Forget about uh -huh. the PVE stuff you were looking forward to. And it's Which, even... again, is the smartest thing for Blizzard to do. Like, realistically, this is the smartest thing for them to do to announce this. It's going to come with, like, new story features yeah. for the game, like a lore database that players can unlock over time. I'm going to make a, a real quick prediction about the story missions. I hope I'm wrong. I imagine for each season that they launch new story missions, they're going to have one cinematic, kind of like how Call of Duty does it. 
You're going to have one cinematic and then the missions are going to basically play out with someone talking over a radio the whole time, telling you what to do and saying that what you're doing is great or whatever. You're it's going to be very, very fucking basic. That's my prediction. Come back to this video uh, when season... Oh, God, I really don't want to. Oh, God. Six launches. And let me know if I was right. That's what Ooh. this roadmap is about. It's about about showing you all of the work that we're putting into this game. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, I don't think it is, Mr. Keller. Call me call me a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist, but I think this is just your guys' way of softening the blow for something you decided to cut because of money. Because you want to make more money. And that's it. You want to put in the well, least- I, I think it's because they couldn't get it right. I don't even think that money was the only reason. I think it probably could have been the main reason, but I feel like another big reason is that they probably couldn't get it right. They couldn't get it right with Titan either. They they like they, they fuck they fucked this up. They've literally spent 10 years fucking this up. If you include Titan, 15 years. Years and years of fucking up. I think they probably just fucked up again. Money probably was a huge factor too, but it wasn't the only factor. Just amount of effort for the biggest return on investment. And, and what you're showing us here is to satiate players and fans that are upset. That's just my theory. At the end of the day, I'm just a big fucking nerd, like all, all of you. And the reason I get so upset is because I care, is because I loved Blizzard and I still love Overwatch. And you know, it, it just, it doesn't seem like this this is the best decision seems like corporate greed once again in the world of i feel like they could have just announced that overwatch 2 was canceled and they were shutting down the servers and i would have felt the same about it like that's that's really the way i yeah i feel like like in in my mind like the, my excitement for the game that that's the way i feel i feel like overwatch i, I feel the same way about overwatch 2 now th that i feel about diablo 3 where it was like, I played it in season, like, you know, the first, like, you know, single digit seasons, like season, like, I, I remember I played like season, like, one, two, three, four, five, and then I think six, and then I stopped after six, and it's like, season 15 comes out, and it's like, they added a new set of gear, and it makes you do, like, 16,000% damage on charge. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I hope they have fun. That sounds cool, I, I guess. I mean, I just never, like, there was never anything that even moved the needle slightly for me to come back to Diablo 3. And the reason why is because I knew that I would be coming back and playing the exact same game. Level up, do rifts, do greater rifts, do bounties, quit. It just, like, that's it. Some are fun in PoE. Oh, I liked PoE a lot more. And I didn't play every PoE season either. How's Diablo 4 any different? Because I haven't gone through six seasons of it yet. That's why. And like, again, maybe I'll hit this point with Diablo 4 too. That's a seasonal game, brother. No, it's not. Because like, so for example, the way that you would play Path of Exile in, I don't know, Harbinger League is totally fucking different than the way you played it in Metamorphosis League, which was totally fucking different than the way you played it in Ritual League or Harvest League. And yes, obviously, it's not... Whenever I say totally fucking different, it's probably not accurate. Ultimately, you're kind of blowing up screens and, and that's kind of the same gameplay. But it was changed so much, especially as a serious player, it was changed so much in the way that you could progress your character and the way that characters were redesigned and the depth of customization that it did actually feel like a new game every few leagues. And I didn't play every single league. I played like maybe every, oh, I don't know, like every two or three or four leagues. Because yeah, sometimes like, you know, I just played PoE. I know what it's going to be because I just got done playing it. There hasn't been enough changes. And so I'm just like, okay, well, I'll just skip this one and come back whenever they add a new patch or whenever I feel like playing it again. The modern gaming. Let's see what Twitter has to say. They've probably been working on the two looking as good as possible on the logo. <laughs> Porn community keeping Overwatch alive after all these years. That's about right. Oh, my back. They've been working on Overwatch Immortal. Don't you guys have phones? It seems so clear to me now. This clip truly aged like fine wine. It would be really funny if they announce Overwatch 3 and it's just Honkai Star Rail. And instead of Japard, it's Reinhardt. 
instead of uh, Seal, it is uh, Genji. Instead of uh, uh, Branya, it's Symmetra. Instead of uh, Tracer, it would be hmm, March 7th. Uh, or, or Hanzo, yeah, there you go. Uh, Diva, yeah, Diva could be March 7th. Uh, who could be Roadhog? Oh, right, it's a, it's, it's a Chinese game, so there's no fat people. Well, they are fat people, they're the enemies. But, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that's actually about it. Yeah, Mercy, you know, you've got, uh, Natasha. Yeah, that's all they need to do. Problem solved. Diva would be Clara. Oh, that's a good one, I like that. Blizzard competing with Halo Infinite in disappointment. Let's see this. Oh no, I think uh, What is it? Clara That's would be Ash. I've smelled it before. Oh my god, dude. I was I was fucking on fire. I called that, man. That's insane. All right, so now let's take a look at the GameSpot <laughs> article and see if there's anything worth discussing. This is what's kind of crazy, though. He was talking about back in 2019. It's been maybe two and a half years since the last hero that we launched. And we don't want to be back at the point where it's another three and a half years since launching a PvP map. How does it, it take three and a half years to make a PvP map? It just seems like you could have done all of the work that you did on the base game of Overwatch and that game would be in a much better state than Overwatch 2 is. Maybe that's just my theory. I don't know. I, we keep hearing them talk about how the scope of the hero missions was really, really large. And what I don't understand is like, why don't you just reel that back, right? 40 to 50 talents per hero for over 35 plus heroes. You're looking at thousands of talents to make everything just to get the game out the door. I would be fine if- Yeah, it's like, imagine if Blizzard was like, yeah, so like, I mean, the thing is like, we've got to make all these fucking quests for the new expansion. It's like, there's going to be like hundreds of quests. We've got to have voice actors for the quests. And then the quests have to be rewards, and then you have to have, like, text for the quests so, like, people feel like it's a real thing. And then, like, oh, God, uh, you've well, then you've got to have the zones. And, like, the zones have got to have, like, uh, new uh, creatures in them. And it's like, oh, my God. And then don't even get me started on the dungeons. <laughs> and then to top it all off, you've got the fucking raid. I mean, guys, there's no way we can do this. Like, is, how, how can we ever do this? It's impossible. You didn't have all of that completed when you launched the PvE mode. I think most people would, right? Why Why couldn't this mode also be part of the live service? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, th this is a long interview. You could probably read it if you want to yourself. But I feel like at this point, I'm kind of just reiterating everything mm -hmm. uh, I've already said before. So in conclusion, the cancellation of this long-awaited, highly anticipated PvE mode uh, is awful. Blizzard yep. shows no signs of stopping their continued decline as a company and it's, it's just one thing after another. You know, obviously this isn't worse as uh, some of the other stunts they've pulled. No, it, it's, it, I don't think this one's like really that bad. Which is kind of why it's bad. It's like, I'm not like super outraged about this. I'm just like, oh fuck, that sucks. That's sad. What I mean is like I'm yeah it, it's it's nothing new yeah it's more it's like it's 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 like I feel like it's bad because it's like oh wow so they're just it's just gonna be bad now oh, okay all right that's that's good enough but I should not have enough material to keep making these blizzard bad videos yeah and why do i have so much material stop giving me material mm -hmm. not only is blizzard focusing on games that people don't want they're cutting features out that players desperately want yep. you know and overwatch is still a fun video game and i like many of the changes but god damn man it, this is not a sequel it's not a sequel that too means nothing God damn it, Blizzard, please do better. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Overwatch 2 in the canceled PvE mode. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man signing out. Peace. What a day. What a fucking day, man. If this is- Isn't that so weird? Yeah, it's just, it, it's just so weird. I can't believe they did this. I really can't. It's like, well, yeah, what a fucked up day. Oh, man. Like, nothing different? Yeah. Fucking despair. There you go, man. What'd you think of Honkai Star Rail?
Yeah, I mean, MiHoYo doesn't come out and say, hey guys, listen, it's gonna be really hard for us to make new content for Honkai Star Rail, like, look, because, you know, you've got to have, like, a new character, and you've got to, like, rebalance the game. It's like, oh, God. And then there's a new light cone, and it's like, oh, fuck. Okay, so now we have to figure out, like, how the light cone's going to work. And then, oh, people want new campaign stuff. It's like, oh, man. Bro, like, this shit is, oh, God. Yeah, we're just not going to do any of that. Uh, we're just going to... Bro, like, we'll just add in, like, a, you know, we'll, we'll add in, like, a new color of a of a weapon and then you can have that instead yeah it's nuts man it's interesting how the talent stuff is such a talking point for blizzard meanwhile we have grinding gear games doing their fourth talent tree passive tree for the year yeah i know i i just ah it's just it just sucks it just sucks i mean as i said in my mind i feel like Blizzard could have announced that they're shutting down the Overwatch servers. And I would have felt pretty much the exact same way. That's the way that I felt out of this announcement. That they just, they're, they're basically giving up, throwing in the towel, the game is dead. That's it. There's a lot of esports for Overwatch. There was. How many people do you think give a fuck about Overwatch nowadays? Three? Yeah, maybe three people. Overwatch League needs Overwatch to support it. And this is the problem with, like, esports. Is that, like, esports... If the game dies, the esport dies. And that's what happens a lot. Is that a game will come out, and the, uh, you know, like, it'll be popular, and then people will lose interest in the game... And then the eSport dies off too because there aren't the, the viewers or the players for the game. Yeah, Overwatch 2 porn is going to carry Overwatch 2 eSports. Ah, oh, it's just sad. It is. It's sad.